today we will see about that uh, continuous class of the microbiology and microbiology see already we discussed some introduction of that microbiology in this class we are going to see that the uh, microbiological that continuation of the history so in this history then microbiology we can uh, in that uh, some of the textbook it is not given uh, but in this uh, graduation level it is given only for um, Louis Pasteur and like like, like that and uh, Robert Koch like that they given but actual history in that some of the reference book actually I collected some good information for your people for that to your examination point of view and getting the knowledge as well as it will be useful for you to clear the competitive examination. In this, uh, their, their microbiology actually, their different period was classified. So that is useful for you to be uh, gain your knowledge toward the microbiological historical development. First is sir, uh, their, their class, we, our continent, we, we, we will be put into like this. First is discovery, discovery era, discovery era. Next is development, development period or application applied period and uh, third one is the golden period, golden period of microbiology, golden period of microbiology. Next is that 20th century, 20th century of century of microbiology, microbiology. This, the 20th century, we are now in the 20th century, we are targeting now, here the molecular biology, molecular biology and technique, technique replacing for the all micro, my, microbiology contribution from this beginning to this and 20th till the end of the 19th century. In this beginning, the discovery era, in this discovery era, that lot of experiment, lot of experiment, first like that to spontaneous generation theory, spontaneous generation theory of microbes. So, in this theory, they are saying that needle, datum and uh, uh, spallanzoni. So, those uh, scientists, they are saying that microorganism, that microbes or organism, they are coming from existed. They are coming from already, uh, it is coming from spontaneously. It is not, it is spontaneously developing. That means, in if you if you non living things is giving the living things like that is the mean meaning for that so in this theory it says the spontaneous generation theory but that is a needle datum and a spallanzoni they are giving for the spontaneous generation theory after in this theory giving in this period and another one of the thing robert hook robert robert Hook. Some of this book, they are, they, they are saying that Robert Hook is a father of bacteriology, father of microbiology. Some of the textbook, but some of the medical textbook says that Louis Pasteur is a father of microbiology. But some of the books say that Robert Hook is a microbiology. We have the confusion. Who is a micro? Who is a? Who is a father of microbiology. So now you are you you comment you comment please who is really father of microbiology whether who going to be accepted as Robert Hooke or Louis Pasteur. Robert Hooke is the first person developed the magnifying lens to he 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 seen that cork that car using the 30x magnification and he observed the car is, is looking like this kind of like this kind of structure so he published his observation 
So calf is looking in this is lens like in this kind of appearance. So then they are started to developing of the microscopy. Next is Anton von Leeuwenhoek, a great scientist, developed a two lens microscope. Robert Hook developed this one lens microscope that is very limited. Then Robert then that Anton von Leeuwenhoek, Anton von Leeuwenhoek, Hook, Leeuwenhoek, Anton von Leeuwenhoek developed two lens microscopy. Two lens microscopy. He used convex, not concave, convex. It is asked on 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 uh, examination. So in between, he used the silver plate. He used the silver plate. This two lens, convex, convex lens is uh, used. So Anton von developed this microscope can able to see magnify fifty to three hundred times more than the original size. So it is very important MCQ question. Anton von Hook is developed that convex use use a convex two lens in between silver plate and fifty to three hundred times it can be able to be magnified. This and all it comes under discovery discovery era of the microbiology and this developing era the developing period development period they are using the applied they are using the Anton von Leeuwenhoek Hook and Robert Hook and the Spallanzoni and Spallanzoni did a lot of experiment. They are applied in the developing era. What is what they are in this era? They discovered lot of bacteria, bacteria, and the vaccines, toxins. They are developed in the golden period. They are published. They are published. Lot of works, lot of work related to the health important of the microbiology, and it is twentieth century. Now we are the twentieth century. We are passing to twenty first century. Then twentieth century, the molecular biology tools was developed to study the microorganisms. Now we will see that in this discovery era and the developing era, in the developing era that Louis Pasteur, Louis Pasteur. Is a is a is a French chemist. Is developed. Is developed. So is is developed that using the fruits, grains to making the wine and beer, and and he is said that he economically saved the money to making the wine and beer using different kind of the bacteria species. And he said that the the spoiling of the wine, taste of the wine spoiling because of using some bad contaminated bacteria. So next he is he is he introduced he is developed one technique. He sixty two sixty four point two degrees centigrade he boiled. Then he processed is. Process the wine making. Wine after making is boiled sixty four point two degrees centigrade. In that very limited time, the technique is called pasteurization. The technique is is called as a pasteurization for wine making and other milk milk product and other product non the natural product and bioactive molecule it unaffected with in this temperature. Heating by in this temperature with a limited period that is uh, given by the Louis Pasteur. So Louis Pasteur discovered lot of things. We will see one by one. And golden that is it is there in the golden period. So applied field. This this applied field the bacterial discovery. Okay, the bas bacterial Robert Koch. Robert Robert Koch. He discovered anthrax bacteria, anthrax bacteria, tuberculosis bacteria. So many discovery, okay. So so many discovery is did using using the Anton von Leeuwenhoek microscope. So this is connection between this two area and this connection between this two area. This whole thing it is connected by the twentieth century. Now we we'll, let's see that the big scientists how they 
developed to the to develop as well as they contributed in the field of microbiology let's see the first palansoni needle data first needle data and palansoni experiment they are taken that needle data taken the spontaneous generation theory spontaneous generation generation theory this life living thing living living organism organism arise from dead cells it is given by the needle data and spallanzoni so that is experiment says that is did that experiment so they have taken one flask is taken the flask one flask it taken the meat other flask same meat other flask same meat this is covered with the the fine mesh fine mesh is covered with a fine mesh he closed fine mesh other thing is he is closed with a tissue paper closed with a tissue paper other he he is did the open so after some given time given period of time given period of period of time so the fly the fly it is in so many maggot it is present in the open 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 forms and the paper tissue paper flask and the mesh closed flask flask in this flask in the open flask many fly it is uh, flying they come and sitting and going after some time so many maggot it is come out from the decayed meat decayed meat by the maggot maggot so in this fine mesh also they are found that maggot it is come out so maggot is not coming out here but coming out from here maggot is not coming out here but maggot is coming here and uh, fell down here maggot and here also same thing maggot it is fell down is coming here how it's coming here it is disproved that this the decaying meat it attracted by the flies they are sitting in the mesh and they laid the egg the leg one once acts the maggot it this fell down here or some maggot it will be switched here the fell down maggot here it is developed here and the similar thing in the tissue paper could not able to be fell down everything it is trapped here so the needle datum and the spallanzoni they are saying that life arising from the dead material so it is say that now we everyone knows because advanced technology in that that time they are saying that the microbes are living organism arise from the dead material that is the spontaneous generation theory it was disproved by the louis pasteur one of this non it is not it is a disproved by the louis pasteur using Louis Pasteur disproved this Louis Pasteur disproved he taken Louis Pasteur taken same like but here he he taken for the the flask of the long necked flask he taken the long necked flask and made it to be open and here the meat it will be there so fly it can able to be go here until but it could not able to reach there but 
the hair the air the air it can be able to be go easily but it will be trapped here it could not be able to be and the hair dust particle or hair containing material or hair containing bacteria would not be able to be enter to here so no megot was formed here no megot formed here so he said that he louis pasteur said that the megot and other germs organism the bacterial organism present in the air present in the air it will be enter when the mesh closed mesh closed bottle mesh closed bottle and and making the grow and it will be grow so like the air containing the microbes air containing the different get of the organism was proven by given by the louis pasteur after using this experiment so after he disproved the experiment by spallanzoni and made the term of the spontaneous generation theory so let's see that louis pasteur contribution louis pasteur louis pasteur louis pasteur now they are calling us some textbook they saying that he is a father of microbiology actually the louis pasteur is given lot of good technique in microbiology and he developed the field of microbiology he strengthened the field of the microbiology by giving the technique of the sterilization 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 he developed the method of the different sterilization method like autoclave autoclave heat sterilization heat sterilization water oven water oven and another one of this sterilization technique is that pasteurization 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 it's a very very important question in this microbiology they will be asking for any competitive examination so please you go back to your textbook and pasteurization what temperature what timing they will be do for the milk you have to be find out and comment in the comment box okay next he is developed the vaccine he developed the vaccine development vaccine development he developed the vaccine for chicken pox chicken pox and hydrophobia hydrophobia that is nothing but he first he developed the vaccine for the uh, chicken pox and the anthrax anthrax bacilli bacilli vaccine next is hydrophobia it is a virus rabies virus rabies virus vaccine he was developed now we will we'll talk about chicken pox it is a accidental discovery by the louis pasteur the past year actually the chicken pox just is left that chicken pox that that the bacteria one bacteria he left into the uh, laboratory uh, he, he actually is closed to in his research lab and went for a vacation and came came to the lab and started to the experiment when he is injecting the chicken pox to the bird it could not develop the disease so he got surprise the same strain why it not be developed the disease but after that he introduced the fresh strain the same bird that instead of developing disease it's producing the protection of the disease it's developing the protection that we identified that is that is called as attenuation that is a life attenuation vaccine he coined the term 
Live attenuation. Live attenuation. Attenuation means that making the pathogenic strain to non pathogenic. Pathogenic to the non pathogenic while it is a aliving condition. That is called as live attenuated vaccine. Live that is attenuated toxin. Another vaccine types. We will discuss in the vaccine types in later class. Now, live attenuation. Now, he discovered. After that, the bird, he discovered the chicken pox. That same thing he inoculated to the other bird that not developed any disease. So, even the challenging with the same, the pathogenic strain. So, he coined that term wax. He coined that term as vaccine. Already the vaccine, the term is coined by Edward Jenner. Is coined by the Edward Jenner. Is introduced. And anthrax, basically. It is a world-breaking experiment. He was did in the open environment. In this open environment, anthrax, basically. Anthrax, anthrax, basically. He did, he heated the basically. In this 42 to 44 degree centigrade, 42 to 44 degree centigrade, then he introduced in, introduced to this goat, goat. So the goat not developed the disease. So now he, he, he this is a heat attenuated live vaccine. That is heat attenuated live vaccine. So he taken the two group. One is um, this attenuated bacilli, anthrax bacilli already injected goat. One group, group one. Another is is non challenged group. The non challenged any anthrax bacilli group. Now this two group. In this open environment, to everyone if is there in that open stadium, he injected the anthrax bacilli, a pathogenic bacilli to the to all the group. So in this all the group, the group one all all animal was living, all animal was alive. But in the group two, all animal was died, died. So now he is saying that this attenuated vaccine preventing to the death of from the anthrax bacilli. So this is a, one of the breakthrough research in his period. And another one of the research is did for the rabies virus. He did for that rabies virus. He rabies rabies virus he inoculated to the rabbit rabies virus is inoculated to the cerebral space cerebral space cerebral space to to all to different generation different generation he inoculated the the virus one generation two generation three generation four generation five generation six and so on some some Certain of the generation, then he collect the spinal spinal cord, spinal cord. Then the spinal cord he crushed into the powder form, powder form, and given to this, given to the who is affected by the rabies virus, rabies virus, who affect the rabies virus he is given this powder form. They are getting the cue getting the cure. So, from this kind of research work, he was noted by the worldwide and applied his work worldwide to develop the vaccine for the different diseases. So, for that, the world contributed to this, the world is contributed to this past year institute of vaccine development. Past year Institute of Institute of Vaccine Development. The institute it is established in the Paris. In India, the past year Institute of Institute it is situated in India. 
past year past year institute institute situated situated in ooty ooty kunnur ooty kunnur so this is very um, remarkable and uh, work of their no is past year now let's see that robert koch robert koch is given lot of bacterial technique robert koch robert koch robert koch is a very good bacteriologist he is introduced many technique introduced technique in bacteriology particularly bacteriology he using the gelati actually first time he is isolated the pure culture pure form of the bacteria from the disease affect, affected organism okay disease affected organism he isolated pure form of the bacteria using the pure form of the pure form of form of the bacteria bacteria using the solid medium solid medium in the solid media he used the gelatin gelatin he used after there are so many drawback dra 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 for the gelatin but we will discuss in the later he used the solid media for the pure pure isolation of the isolation of bacteria so from that he is he is was given one one theory the theory we can call as coach postulate that theory we are now is called as a coach postulate coach given the four postulate then we will see that the postulate is very important this one number one of the coach postulate coach phenomena or sorry coach postulate number one the disease causing suspected organism it always associated the particular disease causing organism organism that is a bacteria always associated associated with affected disease affected human or a person number 1 postulate number 2 the suspected organism their suspected organism of the suspected diseased disease causing organism causing organism able to able to isolated isolated by pure culture method it is a second postulate third one that is very important the pure cultured organism can be inoculated into inoculated to experimental animal model experimental mental animal producing producing same pattern of the disease same pattern of disease right the fourth postulate he says that the fourth postulate the experimental animal what it is producing the same pattern of the disease so it can the organism the disease causing organism or bacteria bacteria can be be isolated isolated from the disease the experimental experimental animal so the same thing okay this what the bacteria is inoculated it will be display same pattern of the disease the same isolating method can able to isolate the bacteria from the experimental model this is a four this four is called as a coach postulate postulate it 
any bacteria or virus most of the bacteria and virus it will be it it can be uh, it can be comes under the coach postulate comes under the coach postulate if you it not meet the coach postulate it will be not a causative agent or associated causative agent but some of the organism some of the organism it is a deviating some of the organism exception of the coach postulate for example mycobacterium leprae mycobacterium leprae it causing leprosy to the human beings leprosy to human being but it could not be able and other bacteria or virus could not be able to be inoculated or it could not be able to be maintained in the experimental model it can be uh, only for for cell culture method can be virus now they are able to be ma maintained or other technique can be able to be maintained but the similarly so, so same but experimental model that is not available for the some of the virus or some of the bacteria in this particularly um, the mycobacterium tuberculosis there is the it is have the deviation from the robert the coach postulate mycobacterium leprae it is very important question mycobacterium myco mycobacterium bacterium leprae this is deviating from the coach postulate it is deviating from the coach postulate it is very important question that it will be any examination it will be there ask other is coach phenomena another one now recently added coach phenomena the coach phenomena is very important the coach phenomena coach phenomena phenomena in this coach phenomena they say that if this is causing organism this is causing organism already exposed by the person or yeah animal model already exposed by the animal model okay that yeah, this is causing pathogen if you one pathogen already exposed to me then i got the cure but i got the cure of the particular organism now the organism is not there in that particular human being but this is causing organism after declined from the human being then challenging with the challenging or again introduced challenging or introduced introduced to this introduced to the living human should not be give the protection should not be give the disease but instead of human it exaggeration of the immune system it is it is exaggeration that means over production inducing the over inducing the inducing the or exaggeration of or inducing over production of antibody antibodies over production of antibody the term it is called as hypersensitivity reaction hyper hypersensitivity reaction so this that is called as coach phenomena so in this hypersensitivity reaction it is the immediate hypersensitivity reaction based on this immediate hypersensitivity reaction that one of the test is very familiar test is tuberculin test tuberculin test for tb reduction so this is hypersensitivity reaction okay the yeah? tuberculosis bacilli and a, this is hypersensitivity reaction for other allergen detection allergic agent detection so those are the things 
it is given by coach phenomena so this is i want to discuss in this coach until we are discussed some of the length um we discussed and von leeuwen cook and robert cook and louis pasteur and robert cook so some other scientist contribution will continue in this next classes thank you